This episode of The Casual is brought to you in part by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to all the marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace delivers it in an all-around package so you can build an easy, streamlined, and beautiful online presence. Virgil, it's his fault. He would be nobody if it wasn't for Kanye. Sure, yeah, 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 you hear it all the time. But it's deeper than just his connections. Virgil shares a lot of the credit for this new awakening in street fashion. He just does love him, hate him, or simply whatever about him, like me, he pretty much changed everything in the fashion industry. I'm your boy, Reggie Casual, and that explanation of what I just said is next on The State. Let's get it. Virgil Abloh is a genius. There, I said it, he really is. No matter how many people hate on him, spit on his successes, or make excuses as to the only reason why he's popular, he's still a genius. Yes, yes, of course, it is fair to point out that Virgil being in Kanye's crew is the only reason why he became what he is. Yes, fair point. But what makes him genius is that Virgil Abloh didn't care what anyone thought about that. And he brazenly acknowledged to the world he was going to use his obtained clout to make clothes and any other designs for an audience willing to sacrifice dollars for cool. And it freaking worked. From Don to West to Pyrex to Off-White to LV, Virgil's greatest skill and asset is determining the climate of street culture. And around the time Off-White was started, 2012 to be exact, Virgil took advantage of clout. That very real thing that doesn't actually exist physically, yeah, he noticed it could be utilized to create exclusivity. And by banking on his connections, he not only made Off-White desirable, he made it so that the right market would buy it in droves. Sure, you could pick it up at Barney's, but the brand is based out of Milan, that's Italy. And the first flagship store was in Hong Kong. Hong Kong, of all places. I don't think I need to explain how having your flagship based in Hong Kong is a good thing because, you know, you know, Asians got that dough, dough, dough. Asians got that dough. Okay, yeah, that's a generalization. Not all Asians have dough, just most of them. Most of the ones that I know and I see, they got it. Anyway, I digress. This combo of clout, the burgeoning streetwear scene, and getting famous people to wear it turned off-white and Virgil Abloh into an unofficial icon, dare I say mascot of street fashion around the world. Sure, yes, Supreme was there, but Off-White was that new premium. You were paying like Supreme resale prices at retail with Off-White. That wasn't new, but it was certainly something that not many people were used to. And what pissed off a lot of people about this, both in the industry and up and comers, was how simple it was. Nothing about Off-White was particularly groundbreaking, unless we're talking about like the women's collection, which was often more involved, but it wasn't that groundbreaking. No, Off-White was hype in physical form, for the most part, with Italian fabrics for good measure, and is the benefactor of the early days of massive social media growth, mixed with celeb cosigns of which who wanted to gain social media growth. You could say Off-White was damn near at the beginning of clout chasing on platforms like Instagram, along with other brands like Fear of God and Vitemont, Vitemont, however you say it. And it shows, Off-White's approach set the tone for many brands to follow. Simplicity, cool names, crazy designs, and clout were now the only way to start for many. That wasn't entirely true, but it certainly opened the door to that way of thinking. Even luxury houses like Gucci, Balenciaga, and Dior couldn't ignore the shift to streetwear and decidedly went in that direction. Of course, this was not all due to Off-White and Virgil's advent. Of course, Supreme had a say in this as well, but no one from Supreme would become the men's artistic director for Louis Vuitton. That would be Virgil Abloh. And this was off the back of Off-White and Connections, no less, which grew his cachet larger with every W handed to him by those who enabled it. You can't blame Virgil for people's buying habits or hype, but you can blame him for taking advantage of it, which is what any smart business person would do and should do, I might add. But despite that, Virgil's main contribution was essentially making streetwear more accepted by the industry and designer fashion more visible and viable to a new generation that was hungry to be more savvy, more knowledgeable, and more intellectual about fashion. 
And it was his background that equipped him to walk the tightrope between street and luxury. His education in architecture and civil engineering notwithstanding, prepared him with knowledge, tools, and the words to mix it up with the fashion posh types. But he had just enough street cred to kick it with the street culture types, who he would take a whole bunch of inspiration from. And as a result, he was able to break down what street culture was visually and contextually, something that the industry was most certainly lacking. And 90% of the time that somebody critiqued him, he would always respond humbly and intelligently. He came off as a student, well, studied student, rather than just a game changer. And he used his friends in high places to force his vision to an audience who would otherwise ignore the street altogether if they could but now they couldn't. And by using the ship of Off-White, which really is the hyper-visualization of streetwear, Virgil gave voice to those that heralded streetwear, the ones who the fashion industry turned a blind eye towards because it wasn't real fashion and simply a face, it was simply a face. <laughs> and the ultimate merge happened when he used deconstructive elements, largely seen in the designer circuit, on the 10, his collaborative effort with Nike. It was the 10, that officially told the world that the culture of street, much like hip hop, can take on anything. It was that flexible. And it was Virgil who decided to lead the charge. And now here we are, Virgil Abloh, a man who used his connections, mostly with Kanye, to further his vision, career, and creativity. But can we blame him? Any of us would have done what he's done in his situation. And can we deny his contribution? Sure, we can say he takes liberties with his inspirations and can come off pompous at times with his own terms and stuff, but there's no denying his results. He opened the door for more, more from the street, more from the culture, more from street wear, more from the next generation, more than just the t-shirt. Virgil did his part in uplifting the street, at least it's fashion, to luxury heights. His wins certainly proved that. He gave hidden and forgotten designers like Sam Ross a chance, even though Sam Ross is brilliant. And we can all agree that Samuel Ross in this world is a good thing. So yeah, Virgil, he may not be everyone's cup of tea, but he deserves a big portion of credit for ushering in this new generation of what I like to call street fashion by making it less snobbish, more cool, and then snobbish again about being cool. And that, of course, deserves some respect. But we gotta get a conversation started, so tell us what you think about Virgil. <laughs> this is like gonna be really hilarious because I know a lot of people don't really like Virgil like that. I swear, it's gonna be great. Just do it. Just talk about Virgil. Give a thumbs up if you like the video. And don't forget to check out our partner Squarespace for your next website or business venture. You can get a free trial plus 10% off once you start simply by using our link in the description at squarespace.com slash the casual. Squarespace will get you started real fast. Easy to use templates, analytics, email marketing, you name it, they got it. They even got Instagram shop integration. So you can use that too, which is clutch. If you're a power user, it's, it's there for you. We use Squarespace on our site. Transition was easy, painless, worth it. You gotta do it. So use our link, squarespace.com slash the casual. Get started today. But most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info in international street fashion and culture. From Tokyo, it's your boy, and keep it casual. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu, and I'll see you guys in a minute.